Hello, Coastal Highway. You're here. We're here quicker than I expected us to, but we're going to continue to keep moving on through. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark and our, well, not faithful cartographer interloper run, but our regular old everyday interloper run that we are taking to the uh, far territory and the Forsaken Airfield once we can get a little bit of things going on. And we're getting closer. We're getting to the point where certain things are happening. And actually, I think since we're here, what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of run through a little bit of this zone. And I want to get a couple of things checked out fairly quickly. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to collect up as much food as we can. I'm going to try not to run too much. But we're going to run down here. We're going to check this trailer. Then we're going to go up and get the, uh, the abandoned lookout. Then we will go down to the little buildings that are right there. Apparently, we have a corpse right off the bat. Uh, I'm still very interested in checking every one of these corpses that they have laying around because, well, there's just things that we might end up finding. And we're going to be going into another fairly loot-rich zone, which is, of course, this one. Uh, we will be looking at the loot once we get a couple of other things done. I'm not planning on coming back through that uh, portal interchange in this zone anytime soon. So I do want to at least catch some of these buildings up before we go to the, uh, the, the, the forge because we might end up finding some stuff that's kind of useful. I'm hoping. Uh, I think the only thing we're really going to care about right now is a slightly better sweater and possibly um, just just whatever else we might run into. I mean, if I can find another ski jacket, awesome. If not, no big deal. Uh, go ahead, eat one of those. And then we're going to run down the hill. I don't want to run too much because she's already tired, and we're going to have to take several naps to get to where we need to go. But we are going to dump an incredible amount of weight once we get down to where we need to go. Is this still a corpse? I mean, it's kind of a, I guess we're already down here kind of thing we can go, but let's go check this real quick. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. I walked right by him. All right, nothing. Uh, except a bunch of feathers. I'm not interested in this section just yet. I know there's all kinds of things we could be picking, and I'm carrying a torch right now that I probably should just make a fire with, but that's fine. Just run. Maybe if you're lucky, there'll be some old rotten pork and beans or something in the, the lookout. We are going to dump a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, all I'm planning on doing uh, once we get over there is we're going to go forge. And then we're going to go to the um, whale processing facility. Going to check out a couple of things there. I'm probably not going to mess with half of that zone. But we're going to just try to get through and get as much of it done as we can. But we're going to go to the whale processing facility and at least craft um, a bow and arrow. Or I should say a bow and a handful of arrows. So that we don't have to uh, be running around without a lot of nothing. Again, I do want to try to at least make a bunch of stuff. We are going to make at least... 20 arrowheads although we already have two so it's kind of one of those I, I, with the with the two you find now in uh in ash canyon and actually there's like several other places now where you can tend to find a single arrowhead even on interloper um it definitely helps early early on but you know still all you need is a bunch of what is it 10 scrap metal and a whole bunch of other things so we need a considerable amount of scrap metal and i'm probably gonna have to let go of well fed if i keep doing this but it's fine if we do. If we don't, it's no big deal. I'm hoping, very much hoping, that the moose shows up in one of these two places. I hate to say it. If the moose shows up in uh, in Desolation Point, we may hunt him. And then uh, just do whatever it takes to get... That's kind of one of those points where <laughs> we can... You can hunt the moose and then, you know, put him up and leave him where he sits and come back for him in a couple of days. Or we can do a bunch of other things. But I do want to at least have the moose hide satchel for carrying capacity because, well, we're going to hopefully find some more goodies that weigh a little bit more than they normally we normally care about. I mean, right now we've got well-fed and we've got uh, the the technical backpack but if we could get rid of well if we could get another just a little bit more weight it'd be great weight carrying capacity can we get up the hill please thank you 
Awesome. Let's go see what we find in here. We might even throw a little bit of something into the stove. We've got plenty of burnables. All right, the note, the matches are always here. A single book, I guess we'll take it since it's firewood and nothing. Let's, uh, let's, let's, um, yeah, just use the book. Use the book, use the book. We've got plenty of books coming. We're going to go right down the hill, right off the hill from where we are right now. There are a dozen books in this one cabin below us. I just want to make some torches. Come on, little fire. Come on. <sighs> And how many sticks do we have overall? Okay. Is there anything under you? No. And no. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to, we're kind of very carefully working through stuff, and I know it's kind of bad what I'm doing. But I'm, I'm saving those. Can you put that away, please? I'm saving our crackers for when we get over there. We should have plenty of food. And if we lose well-fed, we lose well-fed. I'm, I'm not too concerned about it at that point. We're going to dump a whole bunch of stuff. And once we get over there, regardless, we'll probably have plenty to, plenty to hunt, plenty to find. There's a bunch of things I want to go do when we get to Desolation Point, regardless. Plus, we'll be coming right back here. So I will dump an, un uh, well, an ungodly amount, an awful lot of stuff. You keep saying that. Just quit. I feel like she's chewing through calories a lot faster than they normally do, too. All right. It's a fairly easy one. You can actually do it a little bit easier if you come around the back and come down this little hill, but... Now it's all nice and foggy and coastal. Doesn't matter. We're not going very far. Again, checking for loot containers. There's another sapling. I'll take your stick. If I remember, this one is over there, I think. Yeah, right here. No, don't follow the edge. Just go down. Perfect. Well, not perfect yet. We're not down all the way. She can still break an ankle. And a backpack. Excellent. Food. Do we have two pairs of wool socks? We do. Well, that's fun. Let's go see what we're going to get in these two cabins. Get off the crap. All right. Well, you're starving, I know, but we're going to go ahead and loot both of these up because we're probably going to be spending the night right here given the fact that it's foggy. And foggy means I can't see where Mr. Bear is until Mr. Bear walks right up on us. So we're not going to play with Mr. Bear. Give me a torch, please. And I don't know why I did that. Give me that one. Quick, 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 stupid. 
use. All right, caught it right before it went out. Nice. All right, nothing in here, nothing in there. We already checked everything. Nothing on the walls, nothing. Let's go next door. Little rabbit, if nothing else, we can catch a rabbit or two and eat them. Yeah, he's right down the road. I can hear him right now. Let's see what we're going to get in here. All we need is like 700 calories. And, you know, the extra book to, to light a fire with. That's fine. There's plenty of books in this one. I don't think we're going to get any food. All right, bunnies. Fortunately, he's right down the road. I don't know if it's worth even trying at this point. Maybe we should just keep walking. Let me, uh, Perfect. I mean, he sounds like he's right here. Let's just go ahead and eat that. Yeah, he's right here. Okay, well we'll uh, we'll we'll do this then. I I guess I just started a fire for no reason. I'll take the torch. We'll just go off the edge right here and go into town. Uh yeah, nah, we'll leave it alone. We're fine. I need to find a place to rest. You'll be just fine once we get into town. I was going to take a nap there, but no, we're just going to walk into hopefully non-wolf territory. In the fog. Okay. Drink it. You're driving me nuts with your carry weight capacity. Thank you. do not want to shoot this guy, but I guess we could if we had to. I'd never find him again. It'd be the only problem. And then we'd be out of flare shells. Which is not a good idea. But he's up there. At least I think he is. Hope he is. We'll find out. Mostly dead. Torch. Now, the scary part about coming in town in the fog is not to bear the wolves. Is it right down there? Could be a moose. No, I don't want to rock. Dang it. That. Okay, the birds made a noise that kind of got me for a second there. Is he here? No, but that house is here. All right, well, we're going to go. At least I don't think he's here. I don't hear him. All right, let's go do our due diligence. We're going to do this house. We're going to check a couple of things. I mean, I'm not going to night like run right straight through stuff. We need food. We're not going to live if we don't have any food. We can't do any of the work. We can't make anything happen. I'd like to have a pry bar as well because there's some stuff that we could be opening. Um, candy bar? No. You didn't even look in it. No. All right. Now we're going to do a real quick loot of this. 
and hopefully run into some good stuff. I don't want the water right now. We can come back for it. I just want the food and, well, any good clothing. And then we're going to go next door, dump off a bunch of junk, probably take a nap, and then run like crazy. Nope, yep, that one. Oh, interloper loot. There's never anything in any of these anymore. Don't see anything under the bench. Nothing under there. Uh, nothing in that that's usable. Food, please. Hey, there we go. I think that's the only problem, like I say, early game trying to maintain well-fed can just be crazy. That is another thing, though, that the earlier you are into these town sites, the better options you are for getting that, um, that we just got, the, uh, maple syrup. In all of these houses, almost every single one of these houses, you have a guaranteed chance to get maple syrup. You just have to get here before it rots. So let's go over to the Quonset. Unless this other house is up. It's not. That one's burnt. Check this car. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, look. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, throw it at the thing. No, I want to open the mailbox. Nothing. Uh, fire shooting, shooting book, no big deal. We don't need it. We've got plenty of fire starting things. Excellent, excellent, and nothing in there the fog is starting to lift beautiful can we get another torch man these things aren't lasting very long what the heck all right indoors cool let's get the looting in here and see what we find actually let's go do the thing Oop, there's some food there is another sewing book amazing we'll put you down um Nobody needs this anymore. Wow. Holy cow. Nice. All right. Okay, let's make a little bit of storage so she can walk around a little easier. One piece of charcoal out of all of that. All right. Uh, I'm going to put six of those in there, one of those in there, and this is not much to bother with right now. We don't need two of those. Actually, I'll take the best one, and I'm going to lose this torch. Why don't you go start a fire and make some water, and then we'll sort out our inventory, and I'll be right back. All righty, then we can continue on with this. Uh, non-potable. Don't want it. How good are you? You're not very great and you don't have anything in you. You can stay right there until we get back. A whetstone. Are we going to get a pry bar before we get there? We'll deal with that room in a second. Let's go see if we got any more food. 
I don't see anything in that. I don't see anything on the wall here. Dusting sulfur, put it right there. Uh, please tell me they're edible. Well, they'll be edible tonight, probably. With the way this one's been, anything's possible. I don't see anything in the refrigerator. Hey, at least both of the lockers are open. That's nice. Not that it really probably matters. I could eat a horse. We have plenty of food. We'll be fine. Don't see anything else. All right, what's in here? The regular old can. Lock, locker, lock, locker. Three. Wow, you guys are really nice. <laughs> I do think we will run across the street and check the blue house before we leave. Although I don't really probably figure we're going to find much in it. I think the cars are probably going to be our best option for food. All right, and then this whole desk. And the stuff behind the thing. Take my little thing here, put it out. And you're done, do it again. Uh, put the water down. Move that book. This book is good. We're going to need it for later. Put that down. Still have a whole lot of water coming. What's in this cabinet? <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to... Yes, we'll uh, we'll get this all sorted out with, get her put to bed, get her eaten up a whole bunch of stuff, and then we'll head on in the morning. Alrighty, this one may be a long one, but we're going to at least get into Crumbling Highway today. I don't want to be waiting any longer than we need to. Let's run across the street real quick, hopefully, and check the blue house out, and then we'll go head on down the highway. I mean, we're going to check these real quick, or at least check some of them. But I want to go across the... There was nothing in it. Okay, well, fine. But I do want to cross the road real quick just to check and see if there isn't a piece of clothing in there that we might want to start working on keeping alive. This is locked. Of course, everything is locked at this point. But let's check all the cars, at least some of the cars. We want those candy bars. We need them. Nothing kind of lightened up as best I could. Man, everything is locked, and I have yet to find one. You don't see it. I'm probably really, really, really kind of gambling with the life right now, given the fact I can't see anything. I don't see it. All right, uh, get one of those out, please. I know we don't like the blue ones, but... We just don't want to die because of a wolf. All right, let's see what we get in here. That away, we don't need it right now. Again, we're still kind of after some food. And is there anything in the thing? No, there is some sports socks. This would like a slightly better sweater, but that's all. Nothing. Love it. All right. Well, uh, it might be till Milton then. Or, well, it's probably going to be until we get to another location, of which I already know where it is, which is going to be fun. Any matches? No. Huh. Okay. Food. And then we run for Desolation Point. Actually, you can just go ahead and pop that and get rid of it. Yes, I wasted the liquid.
And that. Uh, there might be a candy bar down there. Moldy venison, 900 calories. You would do that to me right now. Crap. Um, I want that. Thank you. Is there anybody out here? It's awfully, and I love it awfully foggy. How stinky does that make us? One, one. I think you're going to stay. Yeah, you're going to stay. Let's just go. We'll be back for it. Although if I leave it out there, it'll rot, but eh. All right, Coastal Highway. We'll walk to the end of it. All right, so this is where we're gonna do a little bit of a deviation from the normal plan. They did install or build in a deer carcass right here. My plan is for now, we're gonna do a little bit of goofing. Well, we're not we're gonna do a little bit of goofing. I'm gonna start prepping for some of the gear that we're going to be building here. And this is gonna be part of it. So we did get a whole bunch of stuff as far as, um, you know, we got a whole bunch of stuff as, as far as stuff laid up back in Pleasant Valley. And I want to save most of that stuff for when we return to Pleasant Valley. We have enough deer parts between here and wherever we need to go to be able to make one of the two deer gear boot thingy stuff, whatever. And we have plenty of stuff to do it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this and then we're going to head into um, Broken Crumbling Highway, Crumbling Highway, and then we'll probably call it. As long as the bear leaves me the heck alone. He is, once again, right here somewhere. We'll pull our stuff. We're going to run for the little car down here, and we're going to stash this stuff up in the basement, the Harris Farm, or whatever the Harris Homestead is over here. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, one thing when you're careful when you're doing this kind of thing, especially with predators around, leave the stinky stuff on the ground until you're ready to run. Then pick it up. You might be dinner when we get back, but I'm going to take those too since we're down here. Kind of want to say that we're going to head toward we're going to head back towards uh, Mystery Lake with a really really heavy Astrid. She's going to have all kinds of stuff on her, uh, and probably like no car trunks looked at all because you know the fact heh, we haven't managed to find a single pry bar at this point. But that's the way the game goes. It's it sometimes it's long underwear, sometimes it's hats, sometimes it's other things, sometimes it's you know stuff and whatever. Um, yep, I kind of wondered if this wasn't the case, too. There is supposed to be another uh, note right here. And it is not for me, which is fine. So they have removed a bunch of the stuff that a loper is not supposed to get. Let's get into Crumbling Highway. Uh, 
Understanding the fact that I'm walking into wolf ter territory really stinky. All right, so the goal is we're going to get over to the Harris Homestead and we're going to dump off a bunch of stuff. I'm going to scout around. Um, I don't know whether we're going to do it. We might do it next episode, probably. But essentially what I want to do is there should be enough deer hides in this area that when we come back through this direction, headed back towards coastal, we should have enough to be able to make at least, well, I think just the deer pants or the boots, one of the two, especially since we grabbed that one. So if we grab us a few torches, we'll go check the car real quick. And yeah, I think we'll just call it. I think we're gonna do a couple of little quick looks around, make sure that the wolves don't eat us if there are any wolves. And we'll just go from there. So are we gonna get another locked trunk? I love it. I got so many trunks to open. No left behind. Nice. Nothing. All right, let's get indoors and get these stinky things dropped down and we can call it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna call it, I guess right there, we're gonna put it down. I'm gonna bloop bloop this. And actually, yeah, we, we have a nice shelf. We can put the shelf down and we can put that over here. We'll just do that for right now. What I'm gonna go do is we're going to, well, we're gonna throw that down. We're gonna get us another torch. Uh, I'm kind of playing back to back to back right now just because I'm trying to get a bunch of work done because I don't know how the schedule is going to be for a little while. But we're going to go ahead and get a bunch of this done. We're going to go ahead and kind of wander around. But I think for right now, we're going to call it. We can uh, check a couple of things. I will see you all in the next one. We're going to do a little bit of looting for just this area alone and i'll probably just rip that up and make cloth out of it there is a bunch more of this here i want to collect and for that matter i think we're going to go ahead and try to catch all the rabbits up in this zone too because that way we can come back and these will be ready to go it's going to take us longer than five days to finish up what we need to do in um broken broken desolation point so i'd rather come back to a pile of stuff to do once we get back to coastal until then i guess i will see you all thank you so much for watching bye